Well, I'm trying something new. I've just got the camera hooked up to film the screen as I'm working. The pro uh, computer program I was using to record as I was working wanted to freeze up on me a lot. And I'd go through and I'd make a tutorial and I'd go to process it and it'd freeze up and I'd lose it. This way I won't lose it, but I don't know if it'll come in better or not. It, it might come in better, it might not. I'm just going to do this one and see, give it a try. And what I want to show you today is how to rig a character. Now here's Turbo. And this is just um, a polygon model of Turbo. Go to shading. Go to x-ray. You can see nothing in there. No bones, no nothing. So, you want to rig him. What's the first step? Well, let me go back to regular out of x-ray mode. First thing you want to do is you want to be under animation. So get under animation. Second thing about rigging a character is you never create a joint in perspective mode. You hit your button, you go to your four views, and you do it from the front, side, top, anywhere but perspective. That's the second thing you got to know. Well, let's get started. I'm going to hide his boots for right now. So you can just see his legs and make it a little bit easier. Let's go to the side view. Click on it, hit your space bar. So here's Turbo. Now, how do you make a joint? Go up to Skeletons. Go to Joint Tool. Click on it. Now you've got your joint tool out. Now, where do I start? I start at the hips. You kind of see where would the hip joint be? Where's the best place for it to be? How about right there? Kind of where yours would be. The knee, kind of kind of right there in the where, wherever you think it'd be best and then down here let's go to the ankle now you just click don't do nothing else you're just drawing the joints and let's go click to the bottom of the foot and then if you want to create a joint and go straight left or right from it hit the shift button and hit it again and you can go straight either way so I won't go to the end of the toe now you got all this now you just hit enter and you've created the joint chain now there's another important thing that you need to do and that's that you need to name all these joints now when I first started rigging them and I watched the tutorial of the fella telling me how to make it I didn't want to go through and name all the joints I figured it was stupid you have to name all your joints. You just do. It's plain and simple. You need to name every joint you make. You can get away with not naming the finger joints, I guess, but you need to name your joints. I'll name this one left hip joint. You can't create you can't space and just capitalize every letter. Left hip joint hit the down button and you go to the next uh, joint in the chain I'm gonna name that one knee oh always start with what side it is left knee joint go down let's name this joint left ankle joint hit down button again it'll be the left foot joint and that last little joint just name it left toe joint and that might be going out too far so you can take it and move it back in now hit your space bar go back to your perspective view as you can see it created that joint it 
absolute zero in the center of a at the center of the grid. Now let's go to shading, X-ray. Now let's move that joint out where it needs to be. Let's select the top. Maybe it'd be easier to go to the front view for this. Now just move the joint. Now I see how it's doing that. I have it to snap to grid. You can undo that and now you can see you can move it more easy. It's just depending on how you want to work. I think about right there. The knee looks like it's about the same right spot. Um, move this ankle joint a little. And you see this it needs this foot needs to rotate a little. Get it I guess kind of straight with the foot. Now, oh, I mean, hmm. I think that's good. So, that's how you make his leg. Now, it's something complicated you need to do with the foot to make it work right. It's recall, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but you need it to be able to make the body walk right. It's called a, I can't remember what you call it, but anyway, get your joint tool. I'll show you how to make it here. I can't, oh. it's the base foot. Click there, create a joint, use your shift button, go straight out to where the toe joint is, go back in to the, where the bottom of the foot is, and then just go kind of up to the ankle. Hit enter. Now, let's name that. Um, let's name that first joint in this chain. Left foot base down. Left toe base. Left foot bait left left toe base. Um I guess it's this left left ankle base. I guess it's the same left ankle top base that'll do now why do you need this thing here well if you're animating it and you go to rotate the foot and you like you want to rotate the foot back kind of like that or forward that's not the way you'd move that's not the way you'd want to move it you would want to move it from the heel you see that and that's what that's for to make a more lifelike movement so let's go to our perspective mode and we can see it created that joint in the absolute center too now click on it click your move tool hit that arrow right there to move it to the side now there's a little trick you need to know it's called the snap and you use your middle mouse button to use it, do it. Hit the V button, kind of just wiggle your middle mouse button over the joint and you see it snapped it to that foot joint off to the side and now I just need to rotate it and well it needs to let me snap it again out of that And see now it's well it's still kind of off let's rotate it just a little there it is now it's going straight with the foot 